Welcome. In front of me is a T-Mobile T-Phone and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. I'm going to first connect to network. Uh, you do want to do that as well. So just progress to the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page, connect to your network and then go back straight to the first page, the welcoming page. Now I'm just going to progress further just so I can show you that the device is locked. Uh, so hopefully that will show up just in a second. Okay, so you can see uh, the phone is uh, locked using pattern and that will be a method uh, for me to verify and also with a Google account. But we're assuming that we don't know either of those. So let's go back to the first page right over here. And you want to start off by selecting vision settings, talk back, enable it and also turn down the volume just because it's a little bit annoying. So once you see this page right over here, straight away just draw a mirrored L like this in this green outline right here. Select while using the app, double tap on it then. And again, single tap to select, double tap to confirm. But before you do so, I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to say. So once you double tap on it, on it you will hear a beep. When you do, you want to say, open Google Assistant. Then you will hear another beep that accepts uh, your voice command and another one a third beep that basically means that google is now listening to you and you want to say open youtube so i'll do that right now and you can just see and also listen how i'm doing it open google assistant open youtube now the third one for google assistant was barely audible i don't think the camera picked it up uh, but if you didn't turn down the volume, you probably on your phone will hear it without a problem. Now, anyway, uh, once you have your YouTube open, press volume up and down at the same time and hold it. You'll get after a moment a pop-up like this one. Select turn on, double tap, and then hold volume up and down once more. This will turn off our talkback. Now, in here, you want to select the account icon, settings, about, and then Google Privacy Policy, which will open up our browser. So from here, just accept and continue. No thanks, the typical browser stuff. And click on a search bar and then navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. I'm gonna write it down myself. And if you need a moment to copy the text, uh, do pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. Select consent and then scroll down to settings app, click on it and start off by selecting apps and select see all 34 apps or however many it shows for you. Tap on the three dots and select show system. Select Android setup. Force stop. Okay. Go back once. Scroll down to Google Play services. They're oriented alphabetically. So just like down till you see G and go. So I think I already passed it. Yep. So there we go. Google Play services. Select that. Select disable. Disable app. And then for stop. And OK. Go back twice to the main, actually three times to the main settings page, like this one. And then scroll down to accessibility. Tap on accessibility menu and enable it by flipping it on right here. Choose allow and got it. Now that you have added the accessibility menu, you can now back up to the beginning of the setup. Okay, and there we go. So from here, just progress through the setup. Here you're gonna select don't copy. And after a moment, we should see Yep, this page. So as you can see, it's gonna tell uh, tell us that it's checking for update, then it glitches into something and goes back to checking for updates. This is normal, this is what we are looking for. So right now, uh, we will now need to utilize the little accessibility menu that we have added. Select Assistant, tap on the settings, and it didn't work. So we're gonna be repeating this several times till this actually allows us to access the settings for Google Play services. 
uh, in which you will enable the Google Play services that we have previously disabled. So just keep on spamming the buttons till you manage to get it. No, it closed on its own. There we go. So once you enable it, go back once. This is crucial. Uh, it did open up the Google Assistant, so I tapped on the screen just to get rid of it. But once you do that back uh, once, it just kind of decides to go forward anyway and skip the verification portion of the setup process. So right now we can set up our phone or technically finish setting it up. Uh, and additionally, choose whatever you, whatever is the quickest for you, uh, because right now uh, the setup does not really matter. Uh, all we're doing it for is to getting access to our home screen, from which you will just swipe up, navigate to settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, and select erase all data once more. And you will want to do that once again. I'm not going to go over this on the camera just because this is a factory reset of the device, which shows you nothing. And once it's completed, uh, you'll be back in the setup screen of your phone. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked so you can set it up however you want. So there we go. Now, like I said, you do want to go through this uh, last portion, press on this button to begin this. Uh, this will unlock the device fully. A hard reset of the device done through settings get, gets rid of all the protection that was previously on this device, which at this moment, for me, it's still present on the phone. So anyway, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.